What's up guys and welcome back to another video from me and today we have the circuit build and tune uh, for the car you've just seen. It is the Mazda MX-5 Cup car. Uh, it's one of the cars from the latest uh, car pack. Um, and yeah, it, this car overall it's uh, pretty damn good. Um, I'm, as usual in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the build and tune quickly. Uh, review some of the parts that have used. Uh, then we'll go into a uh, quick sprint race against the driver tyre so you guys can see it on track. Uh, and then at the very end of the video will be the more detailed building tune where you guys can pause the video uh, and follow the, the build list for it so you can build it as well. Uh, but before we do any of that, I just want to go over this awesome paint that we've got and show you guys uh, where you can find it. Uh, so this design is from XX Pac-Man 2 XX um, and I'm sure you guys will uh, agree that overall uh, this paint looks absolutely awesome. We're just going to Forza Vista mode and have a look round. Um, so you can see the detail on this, uh, especially the uh, faces and everything, it does look immense. Um, I'm always blown away by when people do paint jobs like this because it just looks amazing. Uh, whenever I try and do anything like this, it looks like somebody's been uh, horribly disfigured in a uh, fire accident. Uh, but this is definitely not the case for this one. This is an awesome, awesome paint. Uh, so Pac-Man Tool XX, uh, if you're watching this, awesome work on that job uh, on that paint job, mate. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, and I highly recommend you guys go and pick it up and uh, show it off on the track when you're racing using this car. So this is the car from the latest track pack as well, as I said. Uh, we're going to quickly review uh, some of the upgrades we've got on this. I'll just show you what, uh, what I've done. Um, as I said, this is in C class, uh, so it's a lower down class that I usually do. Um, but I thought I want to try and get, get a good grippy uh, car in C class, something that's good to drive. And I've got a Ford Escort as well, that's pretty uh, awesome in, uh, in C class. Uh, and I did originally try this build without the Aero one. Um, and it handled pretty damn well, didn't really need air on, it had good uh, acceleration and everything um, but I just felt in some of the faster sweeping corners it, uh, it lost a little bit uh, so I tried it with the aero one uh, and it turned out to be a better car overall um, so hence I've left the aero one. Uh, tyres wise uh, in C class it's very rare that you need to upgrade the tyres at all. Um, B class most of the faster cars have either stock tyres on or the first or second option. Uh, it's very rare in B class as well. You need um, uh, race tyres unless you are building a grip car, uh, which I like to do because I like to be able to handle and get around corners and uh, not just have it based on uh, flat out speed. I like to overtake people in the bends uh, rather than just waiting to get on the straight and floor it past them. Uh, but for this one, we've gone with the uh, stock tyre compound. Uh, I haven't upgraded the uh, tyre widths either, uh, so we're to totally winning on the stock rubber uh, for this car. As I said also, I've upgraded the um, aero on this car, uh, it handles pretty damn well, if you have a look at the stats for it you can see handling wise for 5.3, um, so that's fairly high for C class, um, I know I've got some B class cars where the handling isn't that high, um, so this car is pretty damn good in the corners, um, but I'll show you that in a minute when I take it out on track. Um, platform and handling wise, we've pretty much got everything uh, on there as race, uh, boost that handling stats up a little bit. Drive train on this one, interestingly, I haven't gone with the race transmission, I've gone with the street transmission. Um, if you add the race transmission in, you have to spend another 12 PI, which in C class is quite a lot. Um, so I've used the street transmission, the gears are spaced out really, really well, um, and you don't seem to get a uh, bit of a dead spot in any of the gears. Um, so save 12 PI, spend it on more power, uh, more grip, uh, and go with the street transmission for this one. Uh, we've added the uh, race diff in as well because it doesn't boost PI and we can tune the diff from there. Um, power wise, let's look at conversions first. I haven't swapped the engine in this either, we've got a stock engine in um, and we've got a choice of the turbo or the supercharger. So I always go with the supercharger because it gives you uh, better performance figures um, and generally just makes the car a lot better. So if you guys have got a choice between the two when you're building the car, um, I highly recommend you go with the supercharger. Engine upgrade wise, uh, if we take a look at that, we can see um, on this, uh, first thing I did was upgraded the supercharger, so we've got the race one in there. Um, on this one, I haven't upgraded the cams, uh, the cams are stock. Um, I find with cams, uh, they boost the horsepower a lot more, but don't boost the torque a lot. Uh, and if you want a fast accelerating car, it's the torque that you're going to need. Um, so for this one, I stayed away from the cams, uh, and I went a different route. Uh, displacement got upgraded to race. Um, I think I upgraded the piston slightly as well, yep. Um, just to try and get a bit more torque out of it. Uh, exhaust, 
uh, yep, sport exhaust on as well to try and get a bit more torque out of it uh, so we'll get a bit more acceleration rather than uh, uh, top end speed um, so that's a quick overview of the uh, build that we've uh, used for this car I'll go into more detail at the end and you guys can uh, follow it as well um, we're just going to take the car out on track now um, we'll race against the driver tires and let's have a look what we can do so we will put that up to 16 uh, driver tire difficulty will be unbeatable uh, put on two laps for now because I'm not sure what track we're going to do uh, we'll have a look uh, let's find something that showcases it quite well let's go with Catalonia and National Circuit it's got a pretty long straight on it uh, and lots of twisty bits as well where you need a bit of grip um, we'll put that down to two laps uh, just so we don't uh, take forever to get round. Uh, assists we've got for this. Uh, ABS off, normal steering, traction off, manual with clutch and cosmetic. Um, so we should be good to go. So we'll take her out on track and we'll give it a spin. So yeah, I haven't done a C-Class car for quite a while. Um, I do like racing C-Class. I know it's a lot slower and a lot of people like racing high performance sports cars. Uh, but I find with C-Class the racing is quite good it's quite intense and especially when you get down to d class as well um you don't get the high speeds that you get in the other classes but racing wise i don't know why i'll just find c and d class offer better racing and possibly b as well um but then you get people who do stupidly high high horsepower cars that can't get around corners that cause massive accidents so i don't know how you guys feel about it i don't know if you're racing c or d class much uh if you do let me know let me know your experience and how you get on um and uh what what are your favorite classes to race in um, so yeah, we're going to take this round, we are going to race the really driver tyres uh, and hopefully we'll have uh, a successful race. I don't know where we're going to start. So we're going to start in mid-pack. We'll start in towards the back, so that's a bit of bonus, we're going to have a bit of passing through, so in 12th place. So with the gearbox we've got in, it's not adjustable, so uh, even so, saying that, we've got a good acceleration off the line. It's slidey in the first corner, get off the grass, try not to get caught up in an accident, we'll go wide round him, maybe not round him. I try and use as much momentum out of these corners to uh, keep the speed up because I've got a couple of American muscle cars which are going to blast past me and down the straights. Okay, this car isn't built for top speed. i sneak past this guy here. I think we can. And can we get everyone on the Alpha? Can we do him under braking quite far back? He's going to pull out. Alpha's running wide, and split him down the middle, get on the power early. You can get on the power quite early in this coming out of the corners as well, and the back end is quite easy to control. You don't get much or well much uh, tail slide, and it just helps you get around the corner that little bit better. That Alpha's going to be slow coming out of that corner. Try and get the slipstream of this Lexus. Now you can see power wise it's not built for the high power tracks the long runs like this it's definitely not built for um, so don't get one of this on track like road uh, road america Is it road america? yeah road america i always get road america and road atlanta mixed, mixed up We're up to six spots so far so see if we can catch a few of these guys up in the corners target is to try and get third with this. I don't think we're going to have enough laps to catch the first two. Slide past him. Can we do the lease under braking? We can indeed. Can we get the Audi? Can we do the Audi around the outside? Left the door open for the lease if he's coming through.
Hopefully we can get a good run on the Audi out of here, it's gone wide. So third place, considering we started in 12th and it's only uh, two laps, we've done fairly well. Uh, so you can see, yeah, this car is definitely not built for uh, high run, high speed run tracks. Um, it is built more for the uh, tight and twisty ones, um, somewhere like Prague, for instance. Uh, Laguna Seca does well on as well, um, but stay away from Le Mans and um, Road America. Uh, tracks like that where there's long straights because it will get absolutely annihilated down the straights. Uh, but you will be able to catch up in the corners. Um, so it's a bit of a trade off on one or the other. Um, I hope that was quite interesting. Um, we started quite far back on that one. I think that's the furthest I've start, uh, started back since I've started doing these. Um, but we managed to get up to third. Another lap, and I think we definitely would have got first uh, against the driver tyres. Uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, that is the build and the tune. Quick overview and a little bit of a race as well uh, for the Mazda MX-5 uh, Cup car. Uh, you guys also know now where to get that awesome paint if you want it. Um, I hope you guys build this and give it a run. Uh, let me know how you find it, how you get on with it, if you make any tweaks or adjustments to it, uh, it makes it any better for you. Um, I do like hearing when you guys go, well, I've just swapped this part out and it's made it a little bit better because it, <laughs> it, it's awesome to know that you guys are actually taking my building tunes and then adapting them to suit you even more. Um, so that, that's just absolutely awesome for me to, to hear that. Uh, so here you go, guys. Uh, that's the latest building tune for the Mazda MX-5 Cup car. Um, I hope you all enjoy driving it. And until my next video, I'll leave you with the building tune and I'll see you soon.